the two best sellers were mermaids and dolphins. So I decided that I'd combine them both. So I used to go to this coffee shop at night and design sculptures. And this was That's one of the pieces cool. I designed, a mermaid woman uh -huh. riding a dolphin down the backside of a wave. And it's got a lot of motion to it. It's probably one of the most dynamic sculptures That's beautiful. I've designed and carved. It's got a big wave. It might be a little bit of white water here, like the front of a moment in time. And you got a big breaking wave. And due to growing up in Hawaii and body surfing and kneeboarding, I know what So wait, waves turn it like. the other way so the dolphin is actually surfing down the wave. Now, does that shine up pretty nice? Oh, yeah. These are all covered with dust. Are they all finished, or are they still working on them? Wow, the look at that. Look at that. The angel here, the ocean bareback, and mother and calf fish, these are not finished yet. Shoot a little water back on the dolphin's face. Because I don't wait for somebody to order a sculpture. I it's like Michelangelo said, you must produce for 50 to 60 years, so I just keep myself busy. And most of my stuff is, is sculptures that I make or sculptures that I want to make, and then I sell them. It's a tremendous challenge, and it always works. It's always rewarding. Tell me about the dolphin with the fish in his mouth. This piece, well, everybody likes is it Madonna heavy? and Child theme, so... I've applied that to the dolphins. Can you spray that down with water a little bit? Yeah. Pull it out. Yeah, keep spinning them around. So, anyway, back to this piece for a second. I'm looking for a woman to fit the upper torso of this sculpture because it's right at the point where I need to detail it. And then it'll be put on the market. And this will go for about $25,000. One of a kind? One of a kind. All these are one of a kind. Yes, not even my competition, which does, works a lot in bronze, because the process of bronze is you either do it in wax or clay first, so it's adding and subtracting. This is a subtractive process. It's a one-shot deal. Extremely challenging, and that's why I do it. It's very stimulating and rewarding. So this is a mother and calf dolphins with the fish in the mouth, and I put the parrot fish or what the Hawaiians call the uhu in the mother's mouth to get away from the monotony of just showing dolphins and their interaction with the water. So you have a parrot fish in her mouth and she's not eating it. It's to show the dolphin's playfulness in its environment. She's playing with this parrot fish and also showing the baby how to catch. Can you spin fish. that around so we can see it? God, that is beautiful. Looks so real. We have the white water. Now, are these made to the exact proportions, pretty much? Oh, yeah. Scale? Yes, they are. How do you do that? By looking at pictures and studying pictures and always keeping the access lines. Like a dor dorsal fin is basically halfway between the nose and the tail. Side fin is basically halfway between the nose and the dorsal fin. And the eye is about halfway in between the dorsal fin. I mean the side fin, pectoral fin, and the nose. Ah, the baby. So those so basic beautiful. concepts. Look at the little baby. You can, you can pull off any dolphin design. Beautiful. But what I utilize when I do the marine life sculptures is the marine life characters and their interaction with waves. My competition, for some unknown reason, doesn't utilize this wave concept. How anyway, much does that weigh? This weighs probably about 300 pounds, and it's when it's polished, it the it has a light gray part in it, and it's like a window. It, you can actually see depth down into the piece. The dolphins will be high polished. That's just writing on it. Is that pencil writing? Yeah. Okay. Right here, it's just notes. Yeah. And then. The waves will have a couple different textures on the waves because when you look at the ocean, it doesn't have just one finish to it. 
And you got some wow. red, maroon. Dolphin green, looks wet. It's beautiful when yellow. it's shiny. That's what it looks somewhat like it's polished. Where's the marble from? This is alabaster and it's from the California desert. I get it at the U.S. gypsum mine. It's also a form of calcite. And some of it gets rather hard. Uh, some of it gets harder than some of the Italian marble, which is some uh, of the Italian marble isn't that hard. It's just it's easy manipulated. I got a question for you. Don't you have a, a dolphin, real life dolphin head coming out of the water? Let's see that. Don't turn it on yet. Oh, dude, it's on. Oh. You're live. Is that heavy? Yeah, it's very heavy. How much? Probably about 150 pounds. Yeah, it's full detail. This guy's mouth wide open. If you take pictures wow. of the same dolphin species, you'll see that they vary a little bit in their detailing. You have the eye here, the blowhole, the other eye, the mouth with the full teeth. When I did this piece, I made the teeth go all the way back to the very back, and then I got a picture of a dolphin with his mouth open to where I could see in the back, so I had to chip out a couple of teeth in the back. But this will be available in bronze. This piece is going for $4,500, the original. Profile? And I'll be doing a limited edition bronze of this piece, and there'll be different bases that will have, um, like a more 3D water because this is an older piece and I have, haven't wanted to sell it really until I get a mold taken off of it so I can do it in bronze. This is called the Cobra and it's I'm doing it in a limited edition bronze and this particular one I triple chromium plated it. This is number two out of 50. It's got a black granite base the original was done in North Carolina blue marble, which is like a granite, Ret and it's retailing for $3,600. You get a certificate of authenticity with the piece as well. And it focuses on just the contour lines of the cobra, shape, the form, the coils. Spin it slowly again. Spin him the other way now. I'm focusing right on his face. Do you have detail on the face? Yes. The eyes, eyebrows, mouth, underneath the jaw, the throat. God, it's so shiny. It's unbelievable. How high is it? This is about 24 inches tall. And I have a black granite pedestal that could be uh, purchase with the piece in case somebody doesn't have a place to put it it's easier to locate a pedestal with the sculpture on it rather than just a sculpture it's a beautiful piece it's an exquisite piece and it takes an extreme lot of work to take it down to the point Let's go profile chroming it and I finish all of my bronzes because most of the foundries will take away all the detail and ruin the the lines. There's no flat spots on any of my sculptures, so you have to be real delicate when finishing them. Until you're all the way finished with a piece, you're actually shaping it. See Even the if back? you're with a fine piece of sandpaper. Because I want to be known for quality, because there's a lot of butchers out there. Okay.